Hi everyone, welcome to a brand new vlog. We are still in lockdown, still in self-quarantine, self-isolation, whatever you want to call it. I hope you guys are all doing really, really well and that you had the best Easter weekend. It just ended for us, it's Monday, so it's the day after Easter weekend and technically it's it's still a public holiday, Nilifi? Yes. It's a public holiday. Um, but yeah, it's Monday and once a week, Bren and I like to take some time to just deep clean the apartment. We either do it on Mondays most of the time or on a Friday or sometimes a Sunday, but we were feeling a little bit lazy over the weekend, so we didn't do that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to bring you guys along a uh, clean with me. I know you enjoy these types of videos, so let's just jump into it. I'm going to start in the kitchen. So let's get going. If this is what love is, then it's worth the Can get enough of this. Okay, so before I actually get started on the kitchen, uh, we're gonna have breakfast first. So Nikki is making me some breakfast. What are you making? Eggs and fried viannas. <laughs> sounds good. So um, I'm going to get started on some laundry first before I clean the kitchen. So that can wash while we have breakfast and do the dishes. So for the washing, I like to make separate piles before I wash them. So I do like light colors like grays and nudes and things like that and then i'll do like blacks and colors and a white and then i'll just wash each pile separately so for my detergents i just use um like normal washing powder and some fabric softener or fabric uh, fragrance and then i'll normally do like a super quick setting it's very economical and very quick so we have some breakfast just one egg and some chicken sausages. Yum, thank you baby. I just love it when Brain makes breakfast for me. And now I can finally get to doing the dishes. I feel like it's important for me to do this first because once the dishes are done, I just feel like the kitchen feels so much cleaner. We like to wash up um, after ourselves every day but just sometimes you just don't feel like it and then there's a mountain of dishes and while I do that just to keep myself busy I'll put on a YouTube video put in my airpods and it makes time go by so much quicker and although I look forward to having a dishwasher one day um, we don't actually have space for one in this apartment we only have space for one appliance one big appliance and we chose a washing machine so until we have a bigger home um, and a space for a dishwasher I feel like I'm enjoying washing dishes and I feel like washing them and drying and packing them away at the same time um, just makes me feel like I'm getting somewhere and then I'm actually getting something done if you're wondering what this is it's just just a little over the cabinet hook for like a little garbage bag and um, it's just easier for us to dispose of any trash and now that the first load of washing is done I'm gonna hang it all up and this is my little process so I actually don't do any ironing and that's because I shake everything out nicely and just hang it on hangers this little handy dandy clothing rail is from Leroy Merlin, but I'm sure you can get it at so many places. I'm sure I saw them at Macro and Westrand Pack, and I'm pretty sure you can find one on Amazon as well. But I'll basically just roll this little clothing rail outside and let these clothes dry on our balcony outside. Um, and then maybe if it's like a rainy or an overcast day, I'll just leave it inside and it'll dry within two to three days. But I'm on to the next load of washing and then I am going to put a little bit of this all-purpose um, like surface cream. You can basically use this for anything, for floors, for tabletops, for anything. And I just mix it with a little bit of water. I'm actually running out on my surface cleaner, but I'm trying to just use what I have so I'm gonna go ahead and spray the counters and wipe that all down 
and then on to the fridge this is probably my favorite part i do this once a week where i take everything out in the fridge and then i give the fridge a good sanitize wipe down clean and just let it be for just a couple of minutes and then um i'll just kind of like sort everything out see what's expired or something that's gone bad like these bananas they were starting to brown a little bit more than i would want them to so i just peeled them all and put them in the freezer ready to um put in my smoothies and then i also realized that i had some celery that i could prep for my celery juices in the morning so I did that and then I sorted everything else out and packed it all back I feel like this video is pretty self-explanatory like you can see exactly what I'm doing you can see that I'm cleaning the microwave something that I absolutely hate doing especially with this microwave because it's so shiny and mirrored it's so difficult to keep fingerprints off of it but it's very important to keep your microwave nice and desanitized because it can harbor so many bacteria. but um yeah I just thought this little voiceover would add an element of me to this video even though <laughs> you see me cleaning anyway um but yeah i just try and keep this microwave as shiny as possible including my sinks if you feel like your kitchen doesn't have that element of like shine to it and it's not sparkly i would honestly recommend like wiping down your um, taps and your sink and just make sure that there's no water in the sink and um, this just adds a whole new of like shiny element to your kitchen so if you're not already doing that then I would honestly honestly recommend I mean in this corner of the kitchen we always had this this cabinet like a corner cabinet that would open simultaneously or like together and it just kept on breaking so we decided to rip it out and just put these little baskets with like different food ingredients in them and they get quite dusty so I just dust them off and then just replace my water I love when Bren gets me roses and I just need to remember to put new water in them every second day so if you find that your roses have been dying just try and give them fresh water as frequently as possible and then I'll just finish um, wiping down the kitchen counters and then what I've really been liking to do is to boil some water in my kettle and then I'll just take some essential drops you can use whatever you have at home I only had a white silk left I really need to stock up as soon as this lockdown is over um, but like fresh scents like citrus or even like lemony scents would be perfect um, and then I just do a couple of drops in the sink and the boiling water and it gives the most amazing fragrance and aroma to your kitchen it's just insane and then in this little corner of the kitchen is where we keep all of the appliances like kettle coffee machine blender air fryer and i like to keep those very clean so i'll just shuffle them around and just wipe underneath wipe the entire appliance and then the last thing i'll do in the kitchen is to vacuum and mop to finish it all off Next is the bathroom and oh my goodness I just took a bath last night so everything is like everywhere so I'm just going to start by putting everything away and um, wiping down the basin, cleaning the mirrors, wiping down the cabinets and just dusting overall. Oh my goodness i have the worst concentration face it's just so funny anyway i have this little bathroom dustbin it's like a mini old little counter dustbin and i use it to dispose any like cotton pads or earbuds or hair or just you know anything and i just need to like clear that out and wash it and then have it nice and clean to put it back and then i'll get ready on cleaning this bath so i'll kind of just spray it down and then wipe it with a paper towel until it's clean and at first when we moved into this apartment because this bathroom is so beautiful and so white i absolutely love it 
um, I didn't really want it to have like decor pieces in here because it's so white it just gets dusty so quickly um, so I started to like slowly incorporate a little plant and just like small decorative pieces but still keeping it minimal but I mean like these bath mats they get dusty so quickly so I kind of have to shake them out and just give the bathroom a good vacuum and a mop at least once a week and then for the toilet i'm not gonna lie it feels a little bit weird to show you how i clean my toilet um but for the toilet and spaces in the apartment that can get quite germy i just prefer using straight up 91 percent rubbing alcohol that i got from disc game or like bleach or toilet cleaner i'm actually out of toilet cleaner so this can work um, but I just spray it all over the toilet quite generously and then I just wipe it down with a paper towel and then I'll just go in my, with my little toilet scrubby scrubby. I didn't include a clip of me cleaning the shower but I did that at the end of the day as I was taking a shower and onto my beauty room mainly in here I just need to dust and vacuum. I've been keeping this space quite clean because during the lockdown I'm not receiving any deliveries or new products so it's allowed me to kind of just keep a good system going and I hope to continue that once the lockdown has been lifted and I'm sure you guys are wondering what the hell I'm doing over here I'm basically just collecting all of my hair I have quite a lot of hair and I've got long hair I try to keep it in a braid or a bun or a pony um, but my hair just falls out and the vacuum does not pick it up so I have to like kind of do it with my hands and then I'm just finishing off this room with a little window cle window clean <laughs> mirror clean and then it's off to the bedroom same thing with the bedroom mainly just like dusting and vacuuming we make the bed every single morning so that's done and all I need to do is just like wipe down some surfaces clean the mirrors and um, yeah we don't really live in the bedroom we don't have a TV here we mainly just sleep here and um, that really helps to like keep the space very relaxing and very clean I'm a huge scent person and for the bedroom I have a special scent for the bedroom specifically and it's the Elizabeth Arden sunlit sunflowers or the normal sunflowers I switch between the two and then for the rest of the house I kind of just switch it up I'll spray it on the pillows and the towels on this fake little orchid and it just brings such an aroma to the house over here brain is cleaning the um, fan while I straighten up the living room so if you have a fan and you've never cleaned it like all throughout the inside I honestly recommend doing that because it's just so much dust that it circulates and then you breathe in all of the dust so I honestly recommend um, but then I'm basically just like vacuuming in between the couch dusting all the pillows folding all the blankets and then I'll go ahead and vacuum this carpet or rug whatever you want to call it and doing that same thing with my hands <laughs> collecting all of my hair I just cannot believe how much hair I'm losing but I'm I'm assuming it's it's totally normal and then I have a little tip if you want your fabric based couch or sofa or pillows or blankets to keep smelling fresh just like you wash them and um, just mix a little bit of your fabric fragrance or fabric softener into water and just spray it all over this is life changing you guys and then oh I love this ottoman with all of my heart but it's just so high maintenance and um, it's velvet so whenever you touch it it'll catch fingerprints so easily so what I do is I just basically take a very gently dampened cloth and just move all of the velvet hairs in one direction and um, it looks very beautiful after I've done that but it's just such a tedious 
thing to have but yeah I still love it and then I'll head on to like the TV stand area and I have these little bags for all of our electronics so after the day we always try and like pack these away no matter what so I'm just kind of like putting those away and just wiping off um, all of our remotes disinfecting them with alcohol throwing away these dead flowers and just like wiping everything down and that is all the cleaning i'm gonna do today i really hope that you enjoyed this video um i love watching videos like this and like cleaning and organizing is very therapeutic for me so hopefully you guys feel the same way um but yeah i need to catch up on some work and some emails and get to prepping dinner so i'm gonna end this vlog here i love you guys so so much and um, i'll see you in the next one Mwah. bye guys <laughs>